Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1942 and he single-handedly founded the Americas. This is a misconception that many Americans have from childhood. Do any simple research and you'll find that Christopher Columbus actually created a genocide of the people already inhabiting the Americas. Those people were the Native Americans, and hundreds of years later they're still buying for their perspective of history to be told. The city of Phoenix recently made Indigenous Peoples Day an official holiday, so I set out to find out what Indigenous Peoples Day stands for and how the community responded. Right? And then we also um, This is an Arizona State affiliated group called Native Americans for Academics, Success, and Unity. And the college organization says unity indeed. For all tribes to come together to celebrate their heritage. They set up this table three days before the actual holiday to teach the community about Indigenous Peoples Day and what they hope to accomplish with it. Not many people know about the originals that were here first and you know we want people to know about us here. As I started to learn more about Phoenix's newest holiday, I wanted to see if others in the community shared my curiosity. So I attended an event on Indigenous Peoples Day, October 10th, at the Heard Museum off of Central. And I found that the crowd that showed up there were not only of diverse ethnicities, but they harbored the same hunger to know more about this holiday that I did. Uh, when we planned this, uh, we didn't get the exciting news uh, from the city of Phoenix that uh, they would vote unanimously. <laughs> to approve the recognition of Indigenous Peoples Day. It means a lot to me because I'm 26 years old and I've grown up in the valley my whole life. I grew up in Mesa my whole life. I've been coming to the herd, growing up here in Phoenix, the metro area. So it's really cool to finally be 26 and hearing about it becoming this this day for us, and it's really, it's really uh, empowering um, because I remember when there wasn't a, there wasn't a day like this, and the younger kids now have that day, and now from generation to generation on, we'll always have something to celebrate. So I think it's really um, critical and key uh, because it allows us to have more conversations about how to frame and really share who American Indian people are today. Uh, there are a lot of misconceptions and miseducations because we don't learn um, accurate histories um, of these peoples and communities. So I think this is really a great start because it allows us to start those conversations if they haven't already begun within our circles. Columbus was desperate to deliver. Some 10,000 Native people die endless in this brutality. This is Matika Wilbur. She's a Native blogger whose mission it is to travel and visit tribes all around the nation and highlight issues in the Native communities that are not discussed in the mainstream media. She sees Indigenous Peoples Day as a special day for Native Americans to take the stage above Columbus and receive their own recognition. Well, Project 562 aims to change the way that people see Native America. Historically, Native people are underrepresented, silenced, depressed. The goal is to create an experience where our children experience true equality. You know, when Lincoln said, for the people, he meant those that were considered people at the time that did not include uh, savages like Native Americans or slaves like black people. And so <clears throat> we're in a time right now where black people are getting shot simply for being black and Native women are being raped at exponential rates. Three out of four are experiencing sexual assault. Our kids are dropping out of high school at three times the national average. 50% of kids drop out of school. It takes 2,500 Native ninth graders to create one Native master's graduate and 7,000 Native ninth graders to create one Native PhD. The achievement gaps in this country are astonishing. If white women were being raped at the, at the rate of Indian women, it would be a national crisis. If white children were dropping out of school at the rate of Indian children, it would be a national crisis. So we can see that racism is a very real and visceral experience in America. 
And so the goal in raising awareness is to change that experience so that hopefully my children don't know what it's like to be hated for being brown. Hearing this made me realize how much more there was to this day. It wasn't just a holiday to celebrate, it was a social movement. So if Indigenous Peoples Day points out that many issues need to be pushed into the public's eye, how do we do that? By bridging the gap, what we mean is we are bringing that story to massive media in a way that's never been done before. The true question now is, when do we start to refine common knowledge? The time to change is right now.